Sagittarius, Sagittarius, welcome. We're going to get into a general read for you guys today. Um, let's start things off. We have the world card. This is clarified by the four of pentacles. Ooh, the nine of cups and the ace of wands. So for some of you, you seem to be going into a new cycle. Uh, things are closing out and things are starting to move. With the Four of Pentacles, you may not see it right now. You may feel like you're on the losing end of things, but with the Nine of Cups followed by the Ace of Wands, there's a lot of success uh, that can be here at this particular point. There are things that are starting to come in. There are um, That doesn't mean that it's easy, but there are things that are coming in and things that are exiting your life and with the Ace of Wands, you may be rebuilding or building a new life. Um, when we look to a possible desire, we see the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this, this wheel is clarified by the Page of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Judgment card. So, again, we see that there's this want for things to go in a new direction, things to change. Maybe you felt like you've been in a holding pattern. But there's some things that need to be learned as well in order to make the wheel turn. This is going to come through with a tower experience where something from the past may actually come back for you with the judgment card. Now, two cards come out uh, for the near future. We see the four of wands and the hangman card. So. This to me is almost challenging the beliefs that you have around stability. And maybe you need to, but only you can decide that. This stability, we have the Nine of Wands, the Lovers, and the Moon card. It seems like love has been something that has been a bit of a grind. Um, maybe you're looking for love and not really able to find it. Maybe you're just coming up with meatheads or whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> okay. It's, this is, it's maybe meatheads or psycho sallies. I don't know. It's just something funny that's all of a sudden stuck, um, jumped into my melon. So that's what I've got going. Uh, we have the temperance card. This is what's working for you. Followed by the... Oh, the Empress card did come out. I was wondering because uh, as one of the cards had flipped over as I was shuffling, the Empress card was actually right next to it. And I just had a bunch more flip over. Um, <clears throat> we have the Temperance card followed by the Empress, the Fool, and the Two of Swords. To me, this is things are changing for you. We're seeing that with the World card and we're seeing that with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the Empress, the Fool, and the Two of Swords. There may come a point where you may get to challenge your own beliefs. There might be a bit of a surprise there with the fool or that you've got everything that you need to go forward and do whatever you're going to do. Things are changing. Things are moving. Um, I must hear put the faith in yourself. And then with the Empress, for some of you, this could even be uh, some type of marriage or connection. Okay. The Three of Swords flipped over, okay? Um, this is what you need to be aware of. Ten of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Swords. So, again, I go back to this challenging beliefs thing. Uh, with the Three of Swords, there may be a breakup. This may have been something that you saw uh, potential in with the Ten of Cups, but you wa possibly walk away from it. And what this does is it sort of uh, frees you up. It feels a little better. It's, you know, it, it's going to have its rough points. But again, it feels like there's a bit of freedom there. That feeling may not have been felt for a while. Now, when we look at sort of uh, closing out, we see the Strength card, the Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Hierophant. Oh, this is so tied to relationship. The strength card, it's like, okay, focus, 
um, this is going to be a bit of a bumpy ride. Um, with the Knight of Wands, are you in or are you out? And it's going to, sometimes you're going to be like, woohoo, let's jump forward with something, but then at the same time, excuse me, you may be pulling back. With the Ace of Swords, really think things through. Um, don't necessarily let your emotions dictate everything. Like we see that with the Strength card, right? You're going to have to go through some of this stuff and it may not be easy. It may lead you to a new way of thinking, especially when it comes to connection. With the Hierophant here, I almost feel like this is somebody that may be a little older than you. Somebody that's got a little more years underneath their belt, that type of thing. Uh, either providing guidance or somebody that you actually connect with on a level uh, that speaks of a long-term type of a relationship. So that's what I've got for you today. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.